due to the COVID-19 restrictions, just a handful of believers were invited for prayers at the home of the titular head of the Muslim community, Prince Kasim Nachibinge, in Chibuli. The prayers and sermon were led by Sheikh Umal Siddiq in Daula. With COVID-19 ravaging the country, Prince Nachivinge called for a bigger health budget to help tackle the pandemic. We should borrow a leaf from our brothers and sisters in Kenya who managed to put up a full-fledged hospital within six months to cater for this epidemic. The titular head also advised security agencies to avoid using excessive force while enforcing COVID-19 guidelines, especially against those giving out food to the vulnerable. People are hungry, people are desperate. But there are so, some good Ugandans who are extending a hand of charity. You shouldn't stop them. I suggest you sit with them and guide them. Calling for their expeditious trial. Nebajja he also urged those opposed to the Milo land system to focus on fighting land grabbing because it is where the problem starts. They not need the, the, uh, new registration because whatever issues we are having, it has to do with people who are using force to force people off land. To say that Milo is the problem is to miss the big picture. Because even those who have freehold also force people of these lands. After the sacrifice of animals starts today on uh, Idi Aduha, this continues for the next three days. And these days are known as Ayam Tashrik, meaning the days of drying the meat. Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, whoever has the means of slaughtering and he doesn't do so, it's better off to stay at home and doesn't come even near the prayer center. Ali Mivule, NTV.